Hello and welcome to the primary EPOS unboxing of the PartnerTech SP550. If we flip over the till, underneath we can see two screws. With a standard Phillips screwdriver, you can unscrew the cable management panel just underneath and the panel will just pop off, displaying all the ports. Ports themselves consist of a external power port, a power connection for the till itself, cash draw connection, two USB ports, a further four USB ports, a LAN connection for your internet, three COM ports, there's a fourth COM port as well, a VGA connection for external monitors, and also a PS2 connection, mainly done for keyboard and mice. We flip the till over, as you can see, there are two more screws down here. Again, for the cable management system. This is just to release the back panel off so we can actually thread through some cables. Once the screws have been unscrewed, place them to one side, tilt the monitor aside, and the back panel should lift off like so. This then shows you there's a section there for cables to feed through. Standard power brick configuration. We have a kettle lead, plugged directly into the power brick. You can then go ahead and plug it directly into the mains. We can then feed through any cables, this one being the power, through the hole. Next, we have some peripherals, one as being the mouse, again, completely optional. Standard USB configuration. Same for the keyboard as well, totally optional. Again, USB, feed that through the hole. We can worry about the cables a little later. Next, I can show you how to put the barcode scanner together. The cradle and arm connect together like so. And with the screw provided, simply screw in to secure. Once connected, we can then slot the arm into the base and it should be flush against the metal stand. Barcode sits on top of the cradle like so and once again, feed the USB cable through the hole. Next, we'll move on to the printer itself. The printer has some various ports on the back. We have the old style serial, internet connection, power connection, and USB connection. There is also a cash drawer connection right there. Again, standard kettle lead and power brick configuration as well. Slot in the kettle lead, and go ahead and plug that into the mains. The connection itself has three prongs. Again, only plugs in one way, do not force it. There are two ends to the USB, a square end and a rectangular end. The square end is what plugs directly into the printer. Again, it only slots in one way, like so. And once again, we'll thread through the USB connection through the hole. All the cables itself will tuck into that gap there. We can simply place the panel back over, once securely connected. We can then screw the base back into place. Once the screws are in place, we can then flip the till around, tilt the till up, and we can then start plugging them in. First being the power connection. Again, only plugs in one way, do not force it. Next, USB connection. All the USB connections can plug into any of the ports, it makes no difference. You also need to remember the Ethernet connection as well, which plugs directly into the LAN port. They generally come from your router themselves. Now for some cable management. We can then simply put the back panel back over the cables, making sure to leave a little bit of slack. Once it slots and locks into place, you can then screw it back in and secure it. Again, a standard Phillips screwdriver. One last connection is the actual cash drawer connection itself. Now the cash drawer connection is very similar to an ethernet, but smaller. 
that plugs directly into the printer itself. Like so, in that port. Now, let's clean those cables up. As you can see, nice and neat and tidy. Power button itself is on the far right. One press in. Power for the printer is also on the printer itself. The till is now ready to make some sales. I hope this has been an informative video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you for your time.